Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Cycles Baking and transferring that to the Blender game engine. This is going to be a really quick tutorial, um, something easy um, that I think everyone should have in their game just to make your games look a lot better. Um, and first off, I'd just like to say thank you to all who um, watched my previous tutorial and shared that video and commented and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, hopefully I can make some more in the future and some really good tutorials. I apologize, it's not the best tutorial, but um, it's something quick and easy that I think um, will be good and useful for those who are just starting out in the game engine and just need their games to look really nice. So let's get into it. All right, first we're gonna start off with a new empty project. What we'll do is delete the lamp. We're not gonna need it because we're gonna be using cycles. So make sure you switch to cycles. All right, now grabbing the cube, we're gonna scale it by 10. So it's pretty big, we're gonna move it up center of the scene, we go to our camera, so we can see here, we're going to actually take our camera and make the focal length wider so you can see more of the scene, we'll just make it 18, that'd be good. And so we're going to have this plane here emitting light into the scene, so what we need to do is take that plane out. Um, the easiest way to do this is take this plane, or this face here, just select it, click P, separate by selection. So that is no longer a part of that mesh. We have the cube and the plane, two separate objects. We're going to give them both materials. So we'll give use nodes here, and we'll actually add. So this is a different material. This is the diffuse one, the cube. We want this one to be emitting light, so one. So we'll go here to our camera, click render, just to get a quick preview of what it looks like. Looks pretty basic. We have light coming in. Um, to make this scene more interesting, we're going to add a sphere. Just move that up. We're going to move it right in the center of the scene, make it smooth so it looks nice. And we can give that one more render. You can see it has a nice little shadow underneath it. So realistically, if you were making a scene, you're going to have textures in the scene. We're going to do a really basic texture for our cube here. We're just going to move it over. Go to UV Image Editor. Click into Edit Mode. Select all these faces. And then you'll click UV Unwrap. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. The best way to do it is Smart UV Project. And since we're going to be baking the textures, light tends to leak in cycles. That's what makes it look better. You have light that bounces off each other. That's what makes it look more realistic. So we want an island margin. And this is sort of the space between um, each plane. You'll see here if we click OK. Just get out of that. There's space in between. And that's really good. So we can have places for the light to leak. So each of these planes corresponds somewhere on this area over here. So we're just going to grab a really simple texture. We'll just go into textures. I'm just going to grab a concrete texture. We'll get something that looks pretty basic, pretty simple. This looks good. Um, and we'll just use it, the whole thing. Um, so select image texture in here. Just grab that one image. That's all you need. So we go into material. Give this another render. This is what it looks like doesn't look particularly good. In a realistic situation, you would actually texture this so it would actually look great. But just for this basis of this tutorial, we'll just be doing this. So, all right, to bake this texture, what you're going to need to do is you're going to actually have to make a new image. So, we'll just add a new image. We'll call it Bake. Um, and now this is where you can get um, more quality out of your bake. You can make the picture bigger, you, um, preferably if you were doing like um, a level scene, a really huge level scene, you would do probably 2048. Um, but 1020, 1024 is actually a really good number, so we'll just leave it at that. And so we have this here. Now we're going to go into our node editor down here, and with this selected, our cube, we're going to just go down here, so we'll check out this node editor. Now what we have going on is we have our image texture, which is the concrete. And we have going through a diffuse shader, and then it's out on the end. So how we bake the textures, we're going to add an image. The image we just made, which is bake, and we're going to move it up here. And now how baking works is that whatever is down here, whatever is like going out on the surface, is going to be baked into this image. So we'll go back out. With bake selected, you can click bake down here, and that's going to bake the texture. Now there is one thing wrong, and I already know, is that what's going to happen is that these normals are facing the wrong way. So if you have this, just do flip normals, and that should solve that problem. So if we only have 10 samples right now, we'll just give it a test bake and see what it looks like. 
and once that bake is done you'll see here and we've got the same place where that little sphere was so it's really nice and now what you'll do if we want more of quality when we do it we can um, add more samples and I'll just do something simple like 200 and you can see that when we come back so that is just baked out with 200 samples and it looks really nice um, but one thing you need to make sure you do is save the image immediately because Blender will not save the image for you, which is really sad. So just find a place to put it. I'll just put it in here. Bake and save as image. So what we need to do now when we go into the game engine, just click Blender game. And you can see it's all messed up. It doesn't really work. You can't see anything. We go to the game. You click play. It doesn't look like we want it to. That's because it has a cycles material to it and the blender game engine does not really like nodes at this point so we cannot use that sadly so we'll just delete this material entirely all right now we, all we're doing is adding an image texture so for now we're just to see it we'll um, add a shadeless um, go to this texture panel here add a new one image or movie um, we'll open one go into where you saved that bake open it and there we go we have it right here um, one thing to do this since this was just basically white what we can do is just delete that um, make sure it is completely white the color ah, come here. and make it shadeless and then we can just add a diffuse um, if you wanted to bake this you could now one thing we don't have is light in the scene because the blender game engine does not use emission it uses lamps so we'll just add a sun lamp in here the reason I use a sun lamp is because sun lamps use um, shadows and so we can sort of mix these two together we have a baked scene out and if we just click shadow you'll see it's not really a shadow we might have to move this down so it actually works there we go um, but we can use this and we can make it unshadeless now it doesn't look as good and it looks very messed up it looks not doesn't look good at all but one thing we can do is add diffusion we don't want it to be specular whatsoever and we can add a hemi light which is very nice um, this just gives overall light it does not um, damage it in any way um, we can add a hemi light here and that should work just fine so we have this and we can just do only shadow so the only thing we're actually gaining is the shadow. And if we go in here, you can see we have a nice little shadow behind it. We move the shadow. Um, if you want the shadow to look nicer, of course, you can make it to variance. Makes it look more realistic. But this is sort of the way you can blend the cycles baking into the game engine and make it look a little better. And if you just want the hemi light to work properly, you can um, duplicate it, just rotate it like that, so it's facing straight up, and then you have our scene. And so we can just give it a little demo. We'll make this um, sphere rigid body, give it a collision bounds and convex hole. And one thing you need to make sure is on is GSL, GLSL. This will actually allow your shadows to work. So here we go. Just make this full screen. Click play. And you've got our uh, shadow working also with the baking. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please share this. Leave a like, a comment if you have any troubles. Um, and leave also a comment for future tutorials if you want to know anything in particular. Um, I also love to learn things about the Blender game engine. So maybe I can learn it and make a, a tutorial on it. Uh, you know, who knows? Just leave me a comment. What do you want to see? All right. Thanks. Bye.